So let me ask you about that, because it is getting personal for you right now. You have apparently made some enemies in those countries in Central America uh, by criticizing the way countries like El Salvador and Honduras operate. You told the L.A. Times recently about sleeping with a gun nearby because of the threats. How bad has it been for you personally? What are you seeing, seeing that's making you have that protection with you? It has become very personal. The attacks uh, that have been unleashed on, on me and my staff from uh, the president of El Salvador himself, um, his uh, members of Congress, including the ambassador in Washington, D.C., um, has personally attacked me. Now, you know, one thing is for their troll army to attack me, um, but we know that there are people out there who may not be mentally stable um, who want to answer his call for uh, violence. Um, there are people that are that are uh, going through my neighborhood, driving by. Um, it, it looks to me as if they have looked at um, registries of uh, properties in the city. So not only are they going to my home, um, they're going to another property that I own wow. and uh, parking and watching those tenants. Have you spoken with Speaker Pelosi for additional protection or have you sought additional protection from either her or, or anyone else? I have not. Um, since uh, the insurrection, there have been many, many uh, threats against not just me, but other members of Congress. Uh, we have been told that uh, we have been clear to utilize campaign funds uh, for um, protection. And um, I do have, you know, cameras set up in my home, but uh, my protection is really uh, on me and my family.